Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss tests of divisibility. We already know how to check the divisibility by the numbers 10, 5, 2, 9 and 3. Now the reasons for the divisibility of the numbers by 10, 5, 2, 9 or 3 can be given when we write the numbers in general form. First let's check out divisibility by 10. We know that a number is divisible by 10 when its once digit is 0. Let's see how this works. Let's consider this number CBA. Now this can be written as 100C plus 10B plus A. Here we have A is the ones digit. B is the tens digit. And C is the hundreds digit and so on and these dots that we have shown this shows that there may be more digits to the left of C. Now since we know that 10, 100 are all divisible by 10 so we can say that 10 B, 100 C and so on would also be divisible by 10. And as far as this number A is concerned, if the given number is divisible by 10, then we say that A is divisible by 10. And this would be possible only when we have A equal to Zero. This is how the divisibility test of a number by 10 works. Let's consider the number 120. This can be written as 100 into 1 plus 10 into 2 plus 0. That is we have 120 is equal to 100 plus 20 plus 0. Now you know that 100 and 20 are both divisible by 10 and this number is 0 so we say this number 120 is divisible by 10. Next we have divisibility by 5 if the ones digit of a number is 0 or 5 then it is divisible by 5. Consider any number like CBA this can be written as 100C plus 10B plus A these dots are to show that there can be more digits to the left of C. We know that the numbers 10, 100 are divisible by 10 and thus the numbers 10B, 100C and so on would be divisible by 10. And they would hence be divisible by 5 since we have that 10 is equal to 2 into 5. And for this number A to be divisible by 5 that is A is divisible by 5 if the number is divisible by 5. So we have A has to be 
either 0 or 5. Let's consider the number 120 itself. This is written as 100 into 1 plus 10 into 2 plus 0. That is we have 120 is equal to 100 plus 20 plus 0. These numbers 120 are divisible by 10 and so we say that they are divisible by 5 also. And as you can see this number is 0. Thus we can say that 120 is divisible by 5. Next is divisibility by the number 2. We know that if the 1's digit of a number is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then we say the number is divisible by 2. Consider the number CBA, this is written as 100C plus 10B plus A. Since we have that 10, 100 are divisible by 2, thus the numbers 100C, 10B would be divisible by 2. And this number A is divisible by 2 if the given number is divisible by 2. And this would be possible only when we have A equal to 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Consider this number 124. This is written as 100 into 1 plus 10 into 2 plus 1 into 4. That is we have 124 is equal to 100 plus 20 plus 4. Now these numbers 100 and 20 are divisible by 2. And this number is 4. So we say that 124 is divisible by 2. Next we have divisibility by 9 and 3. In all these three cases, that is in the divisibility of the numbers by 2, 5 and 10, we see that the divisibility is decided by the ones digit but for checking the divisibility of a number by 9, this will not work. We say that a number n is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. Otherwise we say that it is not divisible by 9. Also we have that a number n is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3 otherwise it is not divisible by 3 like if you consider a number CBA this is written as 100C plus 10B plus A and we can rewrite this as 99C plus 9B plus A plus B plus C and this is equal to 9 into 11C plus B plus A plus B plus C. And this number 9 into 11C plus B is divisible by 
3 and 9. Hence we have that divisibility by 9 or 3 is possible if A plus B plus C is divisible by 9 or 3. Let's consider the number 927. Let's see if this number is divisible by 9 or not. First let's find out the sum of its digits. That is we have 9 plus 2 plus 7 is equal to 18. Now this 18 is obviously divisible by 9. That is we have that the sum of the digits of the given number are divisible by 9. So we say that 927 is divisible by 9. In the same way we can find out whether a given number is divisible by 3 or not. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the tests of divisibility.